Hi everyone. So this is the more advanced stretching that we're going to be doing. So you might have seen that I have a stretching 101. Now this is a more advanced stretching. So today you're going to need a couple things and you might have to pause this video to actually get to the stuff that you need because we're going to be moving around, getting up, getting down on different things. Um, so you can break it down however you want. I'm just showing you different ways to stretch that's a little bit more advanced than the basic video that I had just done. So for right now, you're going to need a chair that you're sitting in and then you're going to need a long bath towel. So I have a long bath towel here and I also have, this is a pillowcase. I just rolled up a pillowcase. I put tape around it, but it's just a pillowcase so it holds it in a roll that's a little bit shorter, okay? So just for right now, a chair, a long bath towel, I kind of folded it, wrapped it up, and then also a pillowcase, which is a little bit shorter, okay? So we're gonna start and we're gonna do some neck stretches. So because this is more advanced, we're gonna go to the next step. So what I want you to do is put your right arm behind your back, okay? You're looking straight forward. Your hand, your left hand is gonna be on your head and then you're just gently going to pull, okay? The hand behind adds an extra stretch, okay? So I'm just gonna be going through and I'm gonna be showing you the different stretches you are going to have to time these on your own, okay? So you're gonna need a timer and you're gonna have to time them on your own 30 seconds, at least minimum 30 seconds on each side. So if we do a right side and a left side, you're gonna have to do it twice on each side, minimum of 30 seconds each, okay? So now we're gonna switch, all right? Left hand behind your back and then gently gonna pull on your head and you want to feel this right here okay on the side of your neck all right so we're going to be stretching different parts of the neck when we do this and we're going to be doing the entire body as we go through but each way depending on where you tilt your head is going to depend on which muscles we're stretching okay so now for the next one, we stretch different muscles. So now you go back to the right side, so right hand behind, okay? Then you're gonna put your hand on your head and you're gonna look towards the armpit of whichever hand. So this is my left hand. I'm gonna be looking towards my left armpit and you're gently gonna pull down. So this one, you'll end up feeling kind of in the back of your neck, but also kind of on the side. So I was saying in the other video, if you were to think about a compass and do like the southwest symbol or southeast, depending on what side you're actually stretching, that's where you're gonna feel it. Kind of like on a diagonal in the corner, not directly on the side, but not directly in the back of the neck. After you do 30 seconds of that, you'll switch. So left hand goes behind, right hand goes on your head, look towards the right armpit and gently stretch. You're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, okay? The next one that goes right, it works right behind your neck, okay? I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. All right, you're gonna clasp your fingers together, hold it straight out. If you have shoulder issues, you bring it down, but we're gonna come up here. You're gonna push your back out like this and relax your head down, okay? So this way. Your head and your chin should be relaxed down in towards your chest while you're stretching. So you don't wanna reach forward, you wanna push your back out, okay? as you do that, okay? So that's another neck stretch. Now, for the front of the neck, there's a couple stretches for that. So this is where you're gonna need your long towel, okay? I'm gonna put the towel over my right shoulder. 
I'm gonna come behind the back so I can hold it with my left armpit, okay? And then from here, I'm just gonna turn away from the towel and gently pull down on the towel. This one, you wanna feel all in the front right here, okay? So you're squeezing, holding this stable with your armpit. You're pulling down on the towel as you turn away. Your head is turning away from the towel, slightly looking up, and you should feel it in the front part of the neck, okay? Then you just switch, so really quickly, it's gonna go over the left shoulder. It's gonna go under the right armpit, like this. Then you're just gonna hold, okay? Gently pull down, turn your head away, and look up. And again, on this side, you should feel it right in the front of the neck, okay? Now, sticking with this, you want to put it behind your head. I'm going to show you from the side. Okay, so you put it behind your head and you gently pull. So you're gently pulling down. Now the reason why I'm using a towel is because the further your hands are away from you, the more intense of a stretch you can get. So in the other video, I had hands here pulling down, but when you have the towel and you get further and further away, you can have more of a stretch. So if you need more of a stretch, just use that towel, okay? Now the next one, this time you put it behind your neck, okay? And this time you look up towards the ceiling. So when you're here, look up you're gently pulling down on the towel, okay? As you pull down and pull back, you're opening up the space between the vertebrae of the neck, okay? So gently pulling down, looking up towards the ceiling. After your 30 seconds, you're relaxing back down, okay? Those are the basics for the neck. And now is where we go into the shoulder, upper back, and we work our way down the body, okay? So now is where you're gonna need your shorter piece. If you still want to use your towel, you can. I'm gonna show it um, probably both ways so you can see. I like to use the shorter one. So with this one, we're gonna go over the shoulder again, okay? So this is my right shoulder. I'm holding on with my right hand. And so you can see I'm grabbing behind here. I'm grabbing onto the pillowcase. I'm pulling with my right hand and my left hand is going up my back. This is to stretch the front of the shoulder, okay? So different parts of the shoulder for different things. So this is when we stretch the front part of the shoulder, okay? After 30 seconds, you come down, relax switch sides, and then you do it again all over after you switch sides, okay? Now the next one for the back of the shoulder, okay? You're gonna cross your arm over. This time, because it's more advanced, we're gonna take it a little bit harder than the last video. So you're gonna lift your elbow up, okay? You're gonna hold on to your tricep, and you're gonna push back. Now, don't think you have to get as far back as me. I'm very flexible, okay? So I'm just showing you what the motion should look like. So arm goes onto your shoulder, lift your elbow up, hold onto your tricep and push backwards, okay? So your hand is going back. Stretching the back of that shoulder, you're holding it for 30 seconds. Then you're gonna switch and you do it two times on each side. Okay, now the next few we need to stand up for. So I am going to stand up. Move this out of the way. Move this up just a little bit. So now for the next one, so you guys can see, 
I'm gonna bring both hands up in the air. I'm gonna move it higher. Both hands up in the air, okay? Now I'm gonna take my right hand, grab onto my left wrist, and lean to the right, okay? This is to get your obliques, your lats, everything kind of like on the side of your torso and then part of your lower back here. Okay, so again, holding with your right hand onto the left wrist, leaning to the right side. Some nice deep breaths. Good, and then you would switch. Okay, so you would take your left hand, grab onto your right wrist, and then lean the opposite way. So I'm leaning to the left. Excellent. And then you can relax, okay? Now I'm going to show you a couple other things. So for the upper back, I have these poles here. I'm gonna be using a pole, but what works really good, which you'll see in the attachments that I can send you, is you can use a door jam, okay? So right in where the, the door is, you have the, kind of like the lip of the door that you can grab onto. So you're gonna cross your hands, you're gonna hold, and then you're just gonna lean back. Make sure you relax your head down completely, okay? So you're crossing your hands. This would just be the door that I would be holding on to, okay? You're crossing, holding on to the door, relaxing, head down. And then you would be holding it for 30 seconds, okay? Now, we're gonna be moving on to the arm. Okay, so what you want to do with the arm, when you get your biceps and triceps in there, you're going to hold on. Again, pretend like you're grabbing that door jam and that lip of the door. Okay, arm, shoulder height. If you go lower, then you're stretching. It's less of a stretch. If you go shoulder height, more of a stretch. So you're holding on to the door. And what you're doing is your feet, you're turning away to get a bicep stretch in there, okay? So even my feet are turning. So I'm starting standing next to it, and then I'm taking, as you see, my whole body's rotating, rotating around, okay? To get a good stretch, and only take it to where you can. So like I always say, you wanna be a six out of 10 on the stretch scale, 10 being super, super painful, you can't take it, zero meaning you don't feel anything at all. Okay, so if you're here and you turn and you feel it there, great. If you feel like you can take it a little bit more, then that's great as well, okay? So you always wanna clasp it whatever side you're on so that way your thumb is up. So I'd be grabbing part of the door and I would be turning, okay? When you switch, you grab the opposite side of the door and then you turn your body to get a stretch that way, okay? Next one is just for our chest a little bit. So you're gonna clasp your hands behind you, straighten them out, push your chest out, look towards the ceiling. So this way you get a chest stretch and then you get a little bit of your neck that's stretching as well, okay? So hands come down, pushing your chest out, looking towards the ceiling. Great, and now we're gonna need to get on the floor for our next stretches as we work our way down the body. So now that I am on the ground, we're gonna show you the next stretches, okay? You can do this on the floor, in your living room. If you have an exercise mat, you can do it. If you prefer to do it in your bed, you can do it in your bed as well because that's a little bit higher up. Just something that's pretty much flat that you can do this on, okay? So now we're going to 
stretch our abdominals. We're gonna stretch our low back and even part of our upper back as well. Okay, so I'm probably gonna end up showing you from the side of how things look and how I want it. Okay, so when you're on the floor, okay, you're like this. So I'll back up a little bit. You're on your elbows and here you're just relaxing. So you're relaxing 30 seconds. You're relaxing your abdominals, okay? This here, this way, is opening up the space between the vertebrae. So you're unpinching any of those nerves. So if you're sitting all day, this is gonna help unpinch any of those nerves. After the 30 seconds, you come down, relax, and then just go on your forearms again, okay? So that would be your next one. After that, you're gonna get on all fours, okay? Then you're gonna do a cat cow. So these ones are more yoga related, but you're gonna drop your stomach, okay? Arch your back. So that way you get an abdominal stretch, okay? Head comes up. Then your head's gonna go down. You're gonna arch your back this way. And then repeat. So you're gonna do that about 10 times. So stomach to the floor or back to the ceiling. And you just go up and down and you should feel the stretches as you go. So you wanna have a 90 degree angle where your feet and your hips are. You don't wanna be sitting back for this one and you don't wanna be in front for this one. You wanna to try to position yourself so there's a 90 degree angle, okay? Now the next one, we're gonna sit back. So I'm scooting forward. You're coming back and you're trying to sit on your heels, okay? So this one really gets the low back. So you can do this. If you have shoulder issues, you can bring them in more, okay? But for a deeper stretch, arms come out, head relaxes down for 30 seconds. Good. Okay. Now our next ones are going to be on our back. Okay. So for this, you're going to be on your back, bringing your knees into your chest and hugging them. Okay. So you just want to think about completely relaxing that low back. Some people go side to side as well. If you can't bring both knees into your chest, you can start here and bring one knee into your chest, hold it for 30 seconds and switch. So you have the two options. You have the option here, bringing your knee in, or for more advanced, both knees in. Holding 30 seconds, two times. Now when your knees are here, okay, we're gonna go side to side. So sometimes you might notice that we do like windshield wipers. Okay, so this is a windshield wiper when you go side to side. So your knees fall to one side, hold it there. After the 30 seconds, come back up, go to the other side. And notice my hands are not moving, my shoulders are not moving. The only things that are moving are my hips, my knees, my ankles, just the lower part of the body. Okay, and again, you would hold about 30 seconds, two times on each side. Only have your knees fall to where you can take them. If that's only a tiny bit, that's fine. If it's all the way down to the floor, that's fine as well, okay? Just where you feel that six out of 10 stretch, okay? Now we're gonna sit back in a chair. So I am going to adjust myself back into the chair for some more hip exercises. All right, so now what we're gonna do is some hip stretches, okay? So ankle goes onto your knee. Doesn't matter which one, this is my left leg. Then you bring your torso down into a stretch. 
So stretching the piriformis, anyone who has sciatica, anyone that sits a lot, this is what we're going to end up stretching, okay? If that's a problem, you can take your knee, bring it up. You also get a different part of that glue, which helps as well. So not only do you get the piriformis, but if you bring your knee up towards you, you get like a different glue stretch as well. So you could either choose to do one or you can choose to do both of those. Again, 30 seconds, two times on each side and we want you to alternate. Now for some standing exercises and stretches, okay? So I'm going to put my leg up, okay? I'm gonna bring my torso down and we're gonna stretch. So flat back, all right? You can bend the back knee if you want. Try to keep it nice and soft, stretching your hamstring and the back of your leg. Don't worry about trying to touch your toes at all. This is done 30 seconds, two sets on each side, okay? Now you can hold on if you need to. You're gonna grab your foot, your ankle, or your pant leg. Knee holds right next to your other knee. Do not come out like this. You'll put more pressure on your back. Okay, so we want your knee right next to your other knee as you're pulling back. And again, 30 seconds, two times on each side, so you would switch. Now as you're holding on, okay, I'm going to lower this a little. Okay, so you can see my feet. So one foot in front of the other, and you're leaning forward. This one is for your calf, okay? You wanna get a good calf stretch going. So keep your heel down, don't let that heel lift. And I'm just holding on for support, but getting a nice, good calf stretch. Thirty seconds then you would switch two times on each side now for the next few we're gonna be getting back on the floor okay and you're gonna need your long towel again the big one that we had in the beginning all right so we're almost done for the next one I'll show you from the side one knee down, one foot up, hands on your hips, and lean it forward, okay? So now you're working the front of the thigh. For every exercise, if you find that you can't do one of the advanced stretches, on the other video, I have a modification for it. So these are always the advanced. If you can do some, great, but if you need a modification, it's on the other video that I made. 30 second hold, three times on each side. Next is for your IT band, okay? You can do IT band standing or sitting, um, even laying down. We're gonna do one laying down because this is the advanced class and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So you're gonna be laying on your back, okay? Your left knee, uh, your left leg goes over your right knee, okay? And then you fall to the left, all right? So just like how we were doing the windshield wipers, this time your leg is just crossed over, it gets more of your IT band. So I'll go through again. So your left leg, crosses over your right knee and you lean to the left. I'll go over the other side just so you know. Right foot crosses over the left knee 
then you lean to the right and try to keep your chest, your shoulders, and your hands down as your lower body is moving. And you'll do that 30 seconds, two times on each side. Now is where you'll need your towel, okay? This time I am putting the towel on the ball of my foot. Okay, so I'll show you from the side. Okay, you're putting the towel on the ball of your foot. You're straightening out your leg and you're gently pulling back. So like I was saying before, rather than worrying about trying to touch your toes, okay, the further away, the more pull you're going to get. This just makes it so you don't have to reach as far, but you still get a good enough stretch out of it. Okay. You're just gently pulling back. So that's my relaxed foot. And then you pull back and that I'm stretching the hamstring, the calf, the ankle. Now there's two different muscles that are inside your calf. Okay, so that was stretching one of them. This is gonna stretch another. So if you bend your knee, okay, still using this, I'll also show it with the smaller one as well. So again, if you have a small towel, like a smaller bath towel, hand towel, you can roll that up. It might work a little bit better. So I'm bending my knee. This is my relaxed foot. So if you could see my foot here, it's on the ball of my foot, okay, the pillowcase, and I'm just gently pulling back. Now this gets the other muscle that's in your calf. So if you're standing all day, if you're walking a lot, if you're one that really goes outside for exercises, even when you're at the gym, if you find that your calves are tight, just make sure you stretch both muscles. Sometimes the normal calf stretch that we do in the gym just doesn't get both quite as well. So the two that I showed you, the one with the straight leg that we just did, and this bent knee, it also stretches the other muscle as well. 30 seconds, two times on each side. Now what I'll do is in the description, I will post my email so you can email me with any questions. Okay, this was the more advanced one, so be very careful if you need to back off a little bit um, but the modified ones are on the other um, on the other video that I made I can always send you pictures of the exercises as well so you have the video that I made I can send you pictures I can also send you descriptions and how many times I want you to do them 99% of them are 30 second hold two times on each side Okay, and then you want to make sure that you're drinking enough water and you let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so you can refer back to both videos if you need one exercise from one video, one exercise from another video, you can kind of combine the two and I can always send you all of the stretches that we did today so you can see them as well. Okay.